my cherries have been splitting so I uh, just harvested him I wait for a while maybe tomorrow and harvest this one I harvest this ones because it's got a you see it's got splits on it I don't want it's got splits I don't want ants to be eating it up for me and then my tea berries when it's gone from red to dark red it's actually harvesting itself it's coming off by itself so I'm going to start um, harvesting it as soon as it turns um, just dark color. I won't wait for it to go too dark. I've got some that are very dark. I'll show you those ones. But maybe there's too much wind or something. Yes, it is. I don't want it to get too ripe. Just ripe enough. I'll be using them for smoothies. The blackberry still keeps fruiting in the wild. You can always, while you're walking past, just bring out your little paws and harvest some blackberries. If they don't come off easily, then they're not ripe enough. Let me go around and show you the entire spread. It has to be black, and then it will be very sweet. See, droves of them. You don't have to pick all of them in one day. There's many people in this area. And yet, we can't finish picking this blackberry here. It's a wonderful gift of God. It just grows. The birds come, they have some. No. I've packed it into my camera case. I'll show you when I get home. nice and yummy so going home now it's my morning walk bye it's princess lillian's garden and please remember to subscribe bye